Okay, mag je je voorstellen. Hallo, uh, ik ben Emma en vandaag gaan we going purple. Oh, purple? Ja. Ben je voor dat? Ja, zeker. Oké. Wil je vertellen voor jou en de rest van de YouTube viewers? Oh, je hebt grown, maar het is veel. Ja, het is. Oké, dank je wel. Hallo, friends on YouTube. Ik doe Emma's hair. Emma wants purple. And it's winter time, so we can go purple. There's no problem with that. Her hair has grown a lot since the last time. She has a lot of hair. And to get into the mood, we take a purple cape. What I'm going to do is leaving the top long because I like it a lot and the different shades of color will also support the purple colors. It will make different shines and when I put a little bit blue in it and I tell you when I'm coloring it, it gives an egg effect on the ends. And that is wonderful. It gives a wonderful glow. The sides will be deep of color and also the start of the hair I give a little bit more power to, so we can have a lovely hairstyle. Let's start. As always, a start with wetting your hair. And because she has a lot of hair, I will certainly make the hairstyle in this one. Otherwise, it's lots too thick. We'll use every line of our skull bones. Make the lines on the sides, not as clipper short, but nice short. Starting on her right side, always start on the shorter side. Parting myself the line that I want. Rustig hier, hè? Ja. Je hebt bijna een vlogje spijt. Ja, mooi, hè? It's so quiet here. It's a new studio. That you can hear the birds outside. Starting on the side, lifting up with my scissor, set up my first line. And what I told you, I will use the skull bone as a guide and also to support my hairstyle. So I work especially on the back, on the fall of the skull, take every rounding of it. Het mooie is natuurlijk wel dat je nu ook heel mooi de geluiden kunt horen van de schaar en zo. Dat hoor je bij die andere zaak hoor je dat echt niet. Nee, dat klopt. Zo. Ja. Lay the sides in this Keep it on length on the front. Bend it here to the front, make a nice rounding. Going to the back. Here is our fall of the skull day. So I lift in, stay working in the eyebrow lines. All in the hair is in the most natural fall. pushing against the natural fall so I set up the hair straight out of the skin by leaning on the sides of the hairs and pushing my comb in the opposite directions. The 
this all the way to clipper. Get in the center. Here I need the volume. So I can give it wonderful roundings. And when the hair falls in natural roundings, you get also a wonderful shine on the hair afterwards. Because it works with the lights. And when the light's coming over it, you get a special glow on the hair. There wouldn't be colors if there was no light. Wait, the upper hair is on the other side. Pin them away. Watch what the length is. If you need to know. Get over the roundings of the skull and go to the left side. And what I like about doing things, scissor of commerce, that you always practice your skills. Now I'm going up again, using the same lines as the eyebrow lines. All my come always in that direction. To get a much nicer fall of hair. Facial line, it has again a natural fall. Name to the front, control the line. Go behind the ears. It's a little bit hard because I'm out of my position. But don't have to be easy to do a YouTube hairstyle. I'm going to work with my clipper. Sharpen the lights a little bit. Again, leading against the fall of hair. Creating a new neckline. Looks a lot stronger when the hairstyle is ready. Do the same on the other side.
Make sure the line stays also soft because that makes it feminine, otherwise it's too manly. parts above the ear, pull the ear down, leaning against the hair foam, just the parts that stick out you take away, then put it down, work in the rounding, just so, softly let the clip of fall over your finger, now the hairs are dry so you can see much better the natural fall, so take this line also to be a little bit stronger. I shuffle the same way back. So now I can go to the upper hand. Go with clips. Wet the hair again. I start again on the short side. Watch what the fall is of the hair. This side will be a little bit shorter than that side, but it's certain because we want to create some more power into the left side. Watch at the roundings. First I copy the line of her chin. So my fingers are laying in that line. So first create the line to the front. So that I'm certain they have a nice fall afterwards on the longer side then I'm going to turn the hairs get them running to the back let just show you one skin take the hairs up lay them in the rounding again work in the eyebrow lines so I take this line into the line of catching the hairs In my mind I always focus on the back, especially on the center, so I know where I want to go. So you see this line is just on the ear. This will do only to the fall of the hair, so I watch what it does, and when I see the hair bending to the other side, so I can see that in the fall. Then I know I leave the length on the other side longer. So I get a disconnect also on both sides. Just to create a perfect fall in the hairstyle. Every time laying the hair is in the natural fall. Wonderful the shapes are, but a little bit away. My underlines laying here, so you can see there's a, just a disconnect about a half centimeter, not more than that. But when the hair dries, it pulls up a bit, so then it lays on a perfect line. Coming at the center. And there I have to work in a straight line. Because when I have a straight line, I can make this line more dramatic. The wonderful fall of the hair is, and the wonderful, you can create a lot of volume with it. Not much at the sides. So you get the neckline, the nape, and then wonderful the structure of the hair. So I go to the other side, to the longer part. Coming to the longer parts, I can watch what it does. Here I have my connection to the back. So now I just go to the front. Making this connection clear for me. And then I go to the front. 
and there is a measure for go working in a straight line take the fine part of my comb holding the hairs in the natural lines just in the fold the way they fall coming on the ears not pulling on the hair just gently between my fingers so I can I'm sure the structure of the hair will copy into the way I cut it go purple I need to dry the hair before I go to color it. Well, I'm certain that the color needs dry hair. Come back to the front. I will do with a feather knife. Get part the lines in the line of the chin line. Lift the hairs over and connect them on the line I made. So the dramatic of the hairstyle lays on the sides and not especially in her face lines. It makes it a lot more wearable and when she's going to school she can lay to the back. Again lay it in natural fall, watch through the hairs on the roundings of the chin line. And work to the longer side. Last part. Then I do from this side. You can lay the hairs in natural fall. Maybe I can show you that. So I take them up into the roundings, copy the roundings of the skull. Following the lines, so even with the comb, I get them into the lines of the fall of the skull. So it's just like dancing. Put them to the back. Connect them on the line. And connect them on the back. The nice thing, when she would wear her hair to the front, you get also a lovely hairstyle. So if she wants to hide herself, behind the hairs she can do that but now I created a wonderful fall of the hair so now I dry it a bit and then I'm going to color it okay I made the colors I made from uh, Lacme colors the 522 plus that's a purple color there I put in a 070 that's a blue On the short parts and the start of the hair, I will use uh, blue black. This uh, two slash uh, zero seven. First, I set the longer hair aside again. Otherwise, I can reach the under hairs. Start with the darkest color. This is all on uh, 20 volume and also with a deep condition. The first part I make a deep color. So 
pull the collar into the longer hair and afterwards set it purple above that to get a nice deep shade into the hairs gives it a nice soft line lift the hairs over pull them down I have all the base lines colored in. It's a little plastic foil on the longer hair. I go in with my blue purple color. And just this just applying all over the color. So even over the dark on the shades. So I'm certain that the blue purple color will also get into the darker color. So all the colors will be in a purple line. Okay, now all the purple colors on the hair. Just leave it open like this. Don't need warmth because it's a purple color, so don't need warmth. Just work it in nicely. Let the hair lay free. So it can damp out. Wait for 20 minutes and then we're back. Okay, we're back from coloring. Nice shades of purple are in. Do some protection for blow drying on the hair. Use a shaver. I'm going to dry it with a medium brush, starting in the back, building up. Mooi die diepte erin, hè? Ja. Wacht. Dan creëert zo'n mooi shine in het. Ik voet een beetje met Golden Olaf Lans op het. Blow dry it a little bit more. Just a small amount, small bottle. So far, blow drying. Just fixate a little bit with the Lanza hairspray. And this is the new hairstyle and color of Emma. Nice. Emma, will you turn to show your new hairstyle and color to the world? And thank you for modeling. You're welcome.